Hello everyone, I'm Austin. I'm the author of Science of Strength Training. And today, we're gonna to go over the newest translation, which is the Korean edition of the book. So first impressions of the book is it's beautiful. They did a great job at translating the book. They did a great job at depicting the book as it was written originally. And I think they did an excellent, excellent job. My favorite part about this book is definitely the illustrations. It's incredibly visual which when you're talking about strength training, the visual component of strength training is huge. And we really want, want to be sure that we've nailed that down. And so when we look at every movement, for example, that's in chapter two, if we look at the hack squat, for example, this movement is illustrated not only within its setup, but also its execution within the lowering phase or the eccentric phase, and also the concentric or raising phase of the rep. So with everything happening around the world over these past couple of years, and or if you tr are used to training either at the gym or at home, chapter two opens up with an equipment list, a full rundown of everything you need to have at home to maximize your training experience. So right as you open up chapter two, you're gonna get a great look at everything you'll need to utilize this book to its fullest potential. And it even has a pros and cons list about everything that is a pro about training at home and what are some of the cons and how can we work around those to maximize our training experience. But at the end of the day, when you're training at home or you're training at the gym, it's all about setting up a very consistent routine that we can adhere to over time and be consistent with. Because if we're not consistent, we won't get the results that we desire. So the goal of this book was to take more complex topics within science, muscle physiology, and weightlifting and strength training and translate them or put them in terms that the everyday person is going to understand and be able to take into the gym and create an effective routine and understand what they're doing and why they're doing it. So when looking at the structure of this book, it's laid out into four separate chapters and we start from the inside and move out. So the first chapter is all about muscle physiology, looking at what muscles are, what they're comprised of and how they work, which then moves us into chapter two which is going to take 100 plus exercises and we're gonna look at the anatomy that's being used and how we're going to be performing those exercises while we're in the gym. Chapter three then takes us through how to prevent injury and work around injury when we're in the gym, if we so happen upon an injury. And then chapter four takes us through program design principles, the foundations of what make up good and effective programs and how to create your own programs leading into the future. So if that interests you in any way, I would highly recommend picking up Science of Strength Training. I think you'll be able to use it for years to come, and I think you're gonna learn a lot from it.